<laughs> well, I think we're done. The little poo fellow with the smile. I still do the dot dot bracket. Like, do you really? Yeah, I still do a smiley using the dot dot bracket. What is this? Nineteen ninety-seven. I know. I just, I just, I like the old school. Heart. Kiss. Kissing. Heart. The kiss, the kiss emoji. Kiss heart. Kiss. Pineapple, ham, jalapenos. Posh cheese like brie and some jalapenos. Oh, really? Yeah, I like I veggie have to, pizza. I have to dip pizza in sauce though. I can't have it without like ranch or like. You're you one know. of them people when yeah, when you to. when you call up like pizza delivery like get a hot sauce, get a ranch, get, get a blue cheese. Yeah, get, I need, yeah, I need all of that. Yeah, Mushrooms. veggie. Spare button for these pants and a safety pin which I am terrified is going to pop open and stab me in the leg. I don't, I don't have any pockets. I don't like that safety is in the my title bomb, of safety pin. My bomb's inside the pockets of the pants. That's yeah. what's... Nothing. nothing. Let me think uh, oh! my, my best PG joke. I like when someone's like, that's intense, I like saying, oh, like camping. Like camping. Yeah, that's You're my go-to. You're a fan of the pun. Yeah. No, that's the only thing. Yeah. What's your joke? <sighs> See, this is like the memory thing again. I'm um, sure you have a lot of jokes. You just can't get them right now. For all you Australians watching, like Hugo Weaving, what's the difference between an Australian and a yogurt? If you, you're Australian, if you leave, leave an, if you leave a yogurt out in the sun long enough, it'll eventually develop a culture. Well, I think <laughs> we're done here. See you later, Leila. My best joke is about two tomatoes crossing the street, and then the other one. <laughs> That's my comes. best joke. No, you're yeah, stealing my joke. Mine. That's the it's thing. Mine. Yours was completely different. No, Icelandic. no, but yours went. Yours one. No, you have the, the whole thing with the baby tomato the okay, and the mother okay. and that whole relationship. We both have a tomato joke. So. My my joke is basically two tomatoes. One one goes over. The other one goes, hey, catch up. But then there was something about a car driving over him, so I can't really tell it that well. But the thing is, in Icelandic. It doesn't make any sense, and that's how I learned it, because mm -hmm. ketchup is just tomato sauce in Icelandic. So the joke is, two tomatoes across the street, car goes, drives over one, and the other one goes, come here, you tomato sauce. Really bad. <laughs> really bad. And now she's trying to say it's her joke, and by making it really emotional, by saying that the, <laughs> the small tomato that gets killed is actually the, the daughter of daughter, the father. Daughter, tomato. Tomato, and it's suddenly a completely different joke, and it's actually it has not to reference, funny. actually, that father, yeah, okay. But yeah, connecting no, it to the film. Connecting it to the film. Hester and Thaddeus Valentine. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, I can set my hand on fire. What? Mm-hmm. What's it for, for actual real? For actual real. Do I'll you, show you. Do you dunk it in petrol or something? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, the people that are watching that know what I'm talking about will know that it's actually, you know not that difficult. I don't really have a party trick. I go all I go all a bit struck dumb when I'm put on the spot. So would I like to be in a constant state I of think spontaneity? That's, I think you have a lot of party tricks. <laughs> They're just like different every time. There is no one. Yeah, yeah, you know, it just has to just to happen organically, man. Yeah. There's a moment where I juggle in Mortal Engines and mm. I should maybe do that because I can't juggle and I mm, just mm, can't mm. juggle either in the film. So maybe that could be my party trick. Bad yeah, juggling. It could be, it could be. Oh, actually, I wrote a song about Hester. It's called uh, Love Without a Name. And it goes, uh, what is, what is love? No, but that's the third, third verse. Um, what is life but a bad dream? A hazy, silent scream. Color, faded memories playing. Forgotten melodies. Peanut butter and jelly. Ooh, uh, um, a nice roast chicken salad, maybe a bit of beetroot, a bit of slice of brie cheese, maybe some chili, You're so much garlic, than I. <laughs> uh, some butter, a bit of mustard. <gasps> Rye or brown bread, yeah, Ooh. massive, big, huge thing that you don't know how you're going to get it into your face. Turkey club. Turkey club? No bacon. Maybe I'd be like a, a smoked salmon with mm. cream cheese. 
fingers as long as, as arms. Long as arms. arms. Fingers as long as arms. Yeah, fingers as long as arms. So you'd be like Mr. Tickle. You could be like. <laughs> eh, I don't know. They both sound terrible. Um, I but guess, also I guess fingers maybe as long really as arms, interesting. Having little little arms would be. Like... Yeah, I think I think the fingers being yeah. really long, I think, is a better thing. <laughs> Britain's Great Bake Off. <laughs> That's not even the name of it, is it? Britain's Greatest Bake Off? I just like the baking, I don't like it at the time. <laughs> um, I saw one a few years ago called My Family's Crazy Gap Year. And that was, I binged that. It was just people who decided to go on these overly ambitious holidays and then are in complete crisis a week in and crying and stuff, it was great. Reality TV show? You don't watch like I've been Housewives. watching like, no I don't actually. Okay. I've been watching Making a Murderer, that's a documentary kind of. I can do like a, a pretty good Peter Jackson. Uh, so oh, yeah, well, 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 hang, hang on a minute, Lila. Hang on a minute, because it's not—it's uh, not absolutely terrible. It's—it's uh, it's pretty good actually. If you—if you, if you um, consider uh, what about that across the tannoy, you know, you're about to do a take, and um, he comes on the tannoy and goes, uh, "Yeah, let's try that again, Layla, Except for uh, we're going to do it completely different and um, use the word fascinating instead of intriguing. I try and do a Robbie all the time, but it comes out. Talk I, I end up talking like a leprechaun. It's very. It's it's almost offensive, it's very my, offensive my, to my people. Yeah. Oh, I did a ptarmigan this morning um, on the radio, and it was, a ptarmigan is a bird, and it goes like this. That's my impression. That's so weird. When I was in high school, I <clears throat> got picked to play. Oh dear, um, Gone with the Wind. What's her name? Vivian Lee. Oh yeah. <clears throat> and I thought, oh, but. I'm Asian and I don't have a southern accent. But anyway, I learned it. And I, I'll do a line for you. Um. <laughs> Red, I've been looking for you everywhere. <laughs> do you remember when the iPad stuck to my hand? Do you remember when I got it glued no. onto myself? No! <laughs> How do you not remember that? When in we're the in the office, yeah, in the workshop, and I like hand you the iPad and it was super glued to my hand. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Did you lose lots of skin that day? Off every, your hand? Every day. <laughs> Go karting's massive in yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. Isn't it obvious that it's me with my long limbs? <laughs> so I went go-karting recently in Ireland and I, I got my I got my tush handed to me by like three or four dudes. So I'd like a rematch. Alright, you're on. Alright. I have one. Go on. We're in the airship. Yeah. Anafang, Sesta Hester. Are you sure you want to do this? And you say you have to. And then she cocks her gun, and then it keeps yeah. going. It keeps going limp, and so she starts cracking up. And there's the wind blowing, and then the map goes into Tom's face. And this is all happening at the same time. I need to see that blooper. Yeah, me too. I <laughs> it hope was, it exists. Somewhere. We could not stop giggling at each other because every time I went like this, the gun would go limp. <clears throat> and then that was the classic moment when the map went on. Tom's face. I had spent a lot of time with my league that Tom wanted to be a part of, but I, and I told him, sorry, you, you're not part of the anti, anti traction League, buddy. You can't come. <laughs> Hardcore. I know, he really wanted to be a part of the league. We had a chant. Oh yeah, you did? Mm-hmm. That actually was sometimes a little bit funny, I have to say. It was really cool, but yeah. also sometimes funny. I remember we were doing it once before a really serious moment, and I just found it really funny. <laughs> That's why they didn't use it. Huh? <laughs> That's why it never got used. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Go on. Something, something, boom, bye, What we did was we went down to the local supermarket, we bought lots of uh, toilet rolls, and then we just went around teepeeing houses in New Zealand, just throwing them up all, over the front, you know? doing pranks like that. Peter Jackson's house was first, and then Philippa's next door. Uh, no, we did not do that. No, we just uh, we just went and had dinner and stuff, and <laughs> did some talking and walking around, you know. Law-abiding, boring citizens that we are. Uh, we were both in a state of perpetual exhaustion, which was nice, you know, we, we had each other to lean on in that respect, so. Because, you know, we're, there were long sequences where we're running and falling off stuff and bumping and get bruises and scratches. So before, before every take, the two of us would just sort of get back in position and be like running on the spot to try and achieve some kind of flush in the face a la Dustin Hoffman in Marathon Man. Yeah, you kind of just go into this very sort of intimate kind of place that doesn't need words a lot of the time where you just look at each other at seven o'clock in the morning and be like, right, 
Let's do this. We went out for dinner, drinks, and, and then we also just, look, we had not a lot of time um, to prep before this film. I came there and I was just like, look, man, I need to figure this character out. So we kind of, you know, we got to know each other a bit as people and then um, we kind of just dove into the work. So a lot of us getting to know each other was just through rehearsals and, and talking about the characters and stuff. And then we kind of really started to get to know each other filming, which was really cool because the characters don't know each other and kind of also don't get on in the beginning. So that so unfamiliarity was quite helpful. And then, you know, as as the months went on, we got more closer and closer. And so our working relationship and our relationship in real life got closer. And so it was, yeah, it was cool how that worked out. He's just a very funny character. Eccentric yeah. character. Yeah. He aims to surprise. Yeah. And he does. <laughs> he does. He does. It was predominantly built. It was predominant. The world was around us predominantly. Mm. They were only maybe one or two sequences that were Yeah, they built like over 130 heavy. sets or something like that. Yeah. Major. Yeah. I had a scene um, that leads into the scene between us mm. uh, with some naughty school children. Oh, yeah. And that was good fun. With the resurrected man head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was nice. We had these sweet little kids come in and be like a a, a, a tour of naughty yeah. kids getting a tour around the, the London Museum. I had my one uh, kind of action stunt cut where I tase someone. I, I'd like to see that. I'd like, I'd like to, to see, see that. that too. Yeah, yeah. I tased someone, and that was pretty cool. I'm who do pretty you, sure. Who do you tase? Oh, well, you have to wait and see. In the future, in London, they have these kind of pol beef eater police buttons that also tase you at the end of it. Ah, like yeah. Demolition Man. Yeah. I do. Pain. I do cattle rustling on the side, so I took one, you know, for uh, for my hobby. There's a scene actually with Anna mm. Bang and, and Tom that yeah. I really liked because it really kind of explains, well, you, you should maybe tell yeah, me. Yeah, it's, it's the beetle nut scene. So uh, it's soon after they, they meet and she saves them and they're, they're up on her airship and she's resting. And uh, I, Anna Fang shakes him up a little bit, you know, and, and kind of challenges him in, in his way of thinking about Hester and looking at the surface of things instead of Deep, deep, deep within. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's, it's a really cool scene where she's, you know, emotionally shaking him, mentally shaking him up, and uh, that that will be a really cool one. I mean, the books, uh, you know, are already out there, so, so we have an idea, but mm. who knows? I mean, there's a lot to explore, and I think where the books go and the story goes is really exciting, and the character journey and the sort of U-turns it does and stuff. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, we'll see. I think it, if it's up to us, it is going to happen. <laughs> yeah. And since we're... And obviously it's up to it us. It is up to so, us, so um, it's, it's happening. We could maybe do that thing where you're talking about the jungle uh, um, moving city so, that you wanted to create. Right, so yeah. instead of a traction city, there's going to be a traction jungle. Yeah. With a body of water. Yeah. It's going to be the, the natural haven on moving wheels. And we're just going to be there till the end of time, chilling yeah. out. As an artist commune, <laughs> where people come and create and meditate. And will we be there as, as the characters? We can. I guess so. Retired characters? Yeah. <laughs> Much Retired older. Retired from freedom fighting. <laughs>